वेलकम टू स्कूल ऑफ एडवांस केमिस्ट्री आम खेदर चुपताई एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन चैप्टर नंबर वन ओ लेवल केमिस्ट्री न्यू सिलेबस द नेम ऑफ चैप्टर इज स्टेट ऑफ मैटर आई मीन सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस चैप्टर नंबर वन हियर इज द सिलेबस सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैसेज पासवर्ड नंबर वन स्टेट द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशिंग प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैसेज Number two, describe the structure of solid, liquid, and gases in terms of particle separation, arrangement, and motion. The third one is describe and explain the change of state of melting point, boiling point, evaporating, freezing, condensing in terms of kinetic particle theory. The fourth one is interpret and explain heating and cooling curve in terms of kinetic particle theory. Fifth one, describe and explain in terms of kinetic particle theory. the effect of temperature and pressure on the volume of a gas i am going to explain the first two pass rate let's get started number 1 solids a state of matter having definite volume and definite shape a state of matter having definite volume and definite shape i mean we cannot change the volume of a solid by simple mean we cannot change the shape of solid by an ordinary or simple mean so a material a sample a state of a matter that is having definite volume and definite shape is said to be the solid come towards the general properties of the solids general properties i mean solids have high melting and high boiling point solids are least volatile solids are hard are incompressible i mean they cannot be compressed they cannot be compressed and so on now movement and arrangement of the particle according to kpt kpt stand for kinetic particle theory in this case particles have particles have strong forces of attraction particles have a regular arrangement of the pattern in this lattice like that you can see in this picture the next one is there are no gap particles have no gap between them i mean they are very much close together the next one is have minimum energy i mean they are having minimum kinetic energy or zero kinetic energy you can say the last one is particles do not move they just vibrate so they are possessing vibrational energy yes it is true but they are not having any sort of kinetic energy now come towards the liquids a state of matter having definite volume but indefinite shape state of a matter having definite volume but indefinite shape is said to be the liquid they acquire the shape of container in which they are kept basically we can change the shape of a liquid sample but we cannot change the volume of a liquid sample up to very much extent i mean almost volume of liquid sample remains constant but its shape can be changed general properties of the liquids liquids are volatile liquids have low melting point but relatively high boiling point but not higher than that of the solid they are not having high boiling point as compared to the solid the next one is liquids are soft liquids are soft but incompressible movement and arrangement of the particle according to kpt kpt stand for kinetic particle theory particles have weak forces of attraction in the samples number 1 number 2 you can say particles are in irregular arrangement in irregular pattern of its packing in the sample you can see in this picture particles have small gaps between them i mean they are separate however they cannot be compressed however they cannot be compressed next one is particles have high kinetic energy particles move slowly and randomly so these are movements and arrangements of the particle in the sample of a leaf now come towards the next state that is a gas state of a matter having indefinite volume and indefinite shape i mean in this case 
volume and shape both are indefinite so their volume can be compressed and their shape can be changed their volume can be compressed and their shape can be changed general properties of the gas gases are having very low melting and low boiling point gases are having low density and gases are compressible i mean we can compress the gas we can change the volume of a gas now come towards the movement and arrangement of the particle according to kinetic particle theory particles have weak forces of attraction between the molecules between the particles of the gas particles are an irregular arrangement an irregular pattern in the sample particles have large gas between them they are very much separate the gases can be compressed gases can be compressed particles have high kinetic energy so they are going to move fast and randomly they are going to move fast and randomly these are the basic postulate of the movement an arrangement of the particle about gaseous state of matter now come to the next one how to report an answer tips and tricks what to report in the answer whenever they are asking to write the movement and arrangement of the particle in solid liquid and gases let's see over here first of all you will have to learn a uh, general i mean a hint that is i have written on the left hand side of this chart f i g e r f i g e r f for fast or slow i for irregular or regular g for gaps and e for energy and r for randomness So first of all I'm going to write the first row for liquid solid and gases what is the movement either it's fast or slow let's see over here in case of solid no movement in case of liquid movement is slow in case of gas movement is fast come towards i i mean irregular or regular so solid have regular pattern regular arrangement liquids are having irregular pattern or irregular arrangement of the particles gases are also having irregular pattern of arrangement the next one is g g for gap solid is having no any sort of gap i mean the particles in solid are very much close together liquid are having small gaps they are little bit separate but in case of gases there are large gaps between the particles there are very much separated right the next one is energy e for energy solid is having lowest kinetic energy kinetic energy liquid are having comparatively high or higher kinetic energy and gases are having highest kinetic energy the last one is r for randomness in solid there is no movement no randomness liquids there is randomness i mean particles are in a random movement and the last one gases they are also having high random movement particles and so on so this is the basic mechanism this is the shortcut to report your answer to comprehend your answer to memorize your answer and to report an effective and 100% marks answer thanks for watching that's all about today have a nice day for further assistance you may call at this number and please subscribe my channel hit the bell icon and thumbs up if you like my video have a nice day